Hey everyone, Fuzzy Bear Barian here with another Zombie Army 4 video. This one's the Alpine Blitz DLC Chapter 3 Unexpected Guests. I'll show you where to find the comic page collectible, the zombie hand, and the document. I'll show you how to complete the challenge, bring the heat, get a total of 200 kills with a heavy machine gun. I'll help you get the gold medal, and for that, put it on easy difficulty with an enemy setup of two players. You could go three players. Uh, to guarantee enough enemies to kill with the heavy machine gun, but two players it can be done reasonably comfortably. Take whatever weapons you want, you probably will hardly use them, but as far as perks go, put on the heavy perk so that you can pick up mounted heavy weapons, and that also, if you have it maxed out, will increase your amount of heavy weapon ammo capacity. For the next two perks, I've got stamina defense and enhanced vigor on, and I'm pretty much it doesn't really matter what you put on there as long as there's something helpful, but combo extension and combo boost are uh, pretty much essential to help you get the gold. It's there now. Grand Bruno. As soon as you log in, you can probably go straight out the door, but it's probably prudent to turn around, go upstairs and at least grab a medikit. I doubt you'll use any grenades in this at all given that you'll probably kill 99% of enemies with a heavy machine gun. When you go out here, be aware there's a, a, heavy, a mounted heavy machine gun zombie in the distance and he kills lots of the zombies here, so you want to take him out fast to prevent that from happening. Alright, now the zombies here will spawn in a random spot. You have to kill the shooters as well. Uh, unfortunately I have to kill these guys to get to this heavy machine gun. They won't always spawn around it, you may not have that same problem. And from here, you pretty much want to try and conserve your heavy machine gun ammo reasonably enough to kill enemies with, mostly with headshots. You don't have to be too perfect, but try to get headshots with a heavy machine gun to conserve your ammo. And what I don't want to do is waste heavy machine gun ammo on armored, armored guys, so kill the armored guys whoever you want, or shoot them and take off their armor and then finish them off with the heavy machine gun if you can. Sometimes they'll just die on easy mode though before you can finish them off with the heavy machine gun, so I don't worry about the uh, heavy guys, getting heavy guys with the heavy machine gun. Now there are a ton of uh, heavy machine guns, but there aren't quite enough to kill all, uh, get all 200 kills on easy one player mode. Now there, there can be, because on one player mode a heavy machine gunner can spawn in on the last wave, but in my experience sometimes he just, he, he doesn't spawn in properly. Uh, the, the two times I tried this on easy mode, he actually bugged out and, ne and even though he spawned, he was he stayed up top on a wall and never came down so you couldn't get his heavy machine gun and if that happens to you, you won't be able to get all 200 kills on a one player mode, that's why I've got this on a two player mode. But I don't think the heavy machine gunner spawns in the last wave on two player mode, unless it's RNG, but he's never spawned for me. So you do still need to be conscious to not waste your ammo on armored guys and just kill the weak guys. Oh, I was going to finish him off with the heavy machine gun and it auto tracked onto him to kill him with a melee. Like I said at the start, if you really want to be sure that there's plenty of enemies, put it on three player mode but I find it's reasonably comfortable on two player mode so you may as well make think life a little easier for yourself unless you just want to have some fun killing more zombies but there is only so much heavy machine uh, ammo so if you're going to kill more zombies on three player mode you'll probably end up doing it more with your normal weapons than with the heavy machine gun depending how good an aim you are I guess
and obviously keep to keep trying to keep your combo going but there are so many enemies in each wave you'll barely have to try to do that you don't have to keep your combo going from section to section if you've got combo boost and combo extension on you are virtually guaranteed to get the gold score which only requires a hundred thousand points with combo extension and combo boost on you're almost likely without even trying to get probably 150 200,000 maybe even a lot more i'll just click track so that we can see how many kills we're getting in the top left armor giant All right, the zombie hand collectible, that's the first collectible you can get. It's right here on top of this structure. Now I'm carrying this heavy machine gun, but it's a waste of time. You can't, unfortunately, take them with you over jumps when you climb. See, it auto drops it, which is a bit of a shame. If you could take that with you, it would be... Uh, a lot easier to get these kills, but in any case, we're, we're probably not going to struggle, not with two-player mode on. Uh, I'll show you where the comic is before the wave comes. I just wanted to trigger the, the guy talking first. So that's the comic. And we've still got a bit enough time to go and get the document, which is around in the next building. Yes, let us go. And that's the document and the final one of the three collectibles we have to find. So now we have all the collectibles. We just need to complete the challenge and get the gold medal. We're almost at 100,000 with our score already. What I like to do for this, just to make life easy, is take a, uh, a heavy machine gun off its mount and then drop it in the center so that it's easy to grab anywhere around anywhere you'll remember where you dropped it just remember where you did drop it alright and now we can go and start killing them <laughs> yes. as far as heavies go there's uh, I don't think there's a heavy machine gunner in on two player mode there is a heavy uh, a butcher that comes out here that you want to kill straight away I'm willing to waste some heavy machine gun ammo to take the butcher down fast, but if you want to save heavy machine gun ammo, you could take him down with a different, uh, a different way. But he goes down pretty easy with a heavy machine gun, so you don't waste too much ammo on him. And apart from that, I think there's a flamethrower guy at the end that will also take out with a heavy machine gun, I guess. Toxic guys, it's so annoying. So we're at 103 now, and we are actually about halfway through all the total zombies that come out. So we will be able to get the challenge reasonably comfortably, I think. I'm surprised there isn't a heroic challenge in this, since there's so many uh, NPCs that you could keep alive. It would have been good if they'd put a heroic challenge in this level. There's the flamethrower. So actually I was wrong. There are two flamethrowers. Unless it's random, perhaps perhaps here a heavy machine gunner could spawn instead of that flamer. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I just ran straight into uh, his exploding canister. Yeah, um, it may be possible that the heavy machine gunner spawns here or the flame runner and that it's flamethrower guy and it's random I don't know for sure I haven't played this level enough to to know that but uh, it doesn't really matter anyway there are still plenty of heavy machine guns you can pick up and if a heavy machine gunner does spawn instead of a flamethrower well all the better Sniper.
Gotcha! <laughs> I'll use the uh, flamethrower to take out the rest of these enemies. So yeah, the heavy machine gunner often spawns on that left wall there, up top, and sometimes he'll just stand there and shoot, and even if you, he won't drop down, and even if you kill him, his heavy machine gun will stay up top and you won't be able to get it. That's on one player mode at least. I've never seen the heavy machine gunner on two player mode, but that's why I think I think he's meant to I don't know, maybe he's a tease. <laughs> a tease to make you think you'll get an extra heavy machine gun when you won't. Or it's a bug. I'm not I'm not really sure. Either way, it's not very helpful. Two player mode's the only way to go for this. So there's two heavy machine guns here. One here, which I'll remove and put over near the top of these stairs for easy access later. And another one here. So plenty of uh, heavy machine guns to get the kills. We're already 157. We've got all of the collectibles already. And now we just do the final part of the chapter. We're at 183 and it's been pretty easy. 10 more zombie kills. We've got 93 bullets. So if I really wanted to pace myself here, I could do it easily. about to get the challenge there we go now use your heavy machine guns however you want and clean up and that'll be the end of it so really quite an easy chapter to get all the collectibles to get the challenge done and to get the gold so long as you put it on easy mode two player Alright, now we can just exit. No need to stick around. And that's the end of it. No.
All right, there's the gold medal, comfortably and easily obtained, and all the collectibles and the challenge completed. All right, guys, I hope this helps you out if you needed help on this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.